Hey guys, welcome back to the Holy Boxer. In the last episode, we dared to venture into the Valley of Defilement. We danced with danger in order to get ourselves a shard of faint stone and to make us a blessed set of iron knuckles. Actually, only the one iron knuckle. And then we faced our fears in World 2-1. And ended up sucker punching the armor spider. Wow, that was a good episode for getting shit done, really, wasn't it? Very promising. And this now. This episode leads us into World 1 2, with the ultimate goal being to help Ostrava uh, down through the lower reaches of the area. That's right, the level and also to defeat the Tower Knight. Uh, what you can see here is probably the best method for farming uh, these these slimes. That What you just saw happen then, where I knock the boxes and wait for him to turn around just a tiny bit, that is the best way. If you wait for him to turn around all the way, he will actually start to do a full circle and he will have nearly completed it by the time you get up to him. So, go straight to him, hit him like that. Otherwise, very straightforward. Just down yonder. Uh, we get to speak to Ostrava. He needs some help for some reason. He's got his cool armor, his fluted armor, and his rune sword and shield. Uh, but he'd rather speak to a guy who looks like he's wearing a trash bag. That's for my American listeners. <laughs> uh, a trash bag for an outfit. And two old-fashioned uh, irons for weapons. I look like a <laughs> a very uh, Victorian working class superhero. But that's besides the point. We'll go and help him anyway. That dragon got me. I thought I'd be able to make it. Get the healing items. And then we just take the low road down. Or we will in a second. I'm, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, I would generally consider this one of the easiest levels. You can do it immediately after you've finished World 2-1, uh, if you're so inclined. 2-1, I meant 1-1. Uh, I mean one -one. You know, it's especially if you're having trouble with any of the other worlds, it's a good one. Come in here, you can get some souls, you can defeat the Tower Knight, you can feel good about yourself. And if you have the souls to buy enough arrows, you can also kill the dragon and get the small flame scale soul. I think that's what it's called. I don't know, really. Uh, we are going to be using the crossbow in this because there are uh, the sort of wolf dogs in here. <laughs> and one or two uh, are okay with the knuckles because you miss. You miss maybe one in every two swings, so you hit about 50% of the time. But I think there's a group of five or six of them down here and it just... Like, I just thought, no, no, I'm not doing that. And if you can hear, sort of, over, under, behind, and around the corner from my voice, you can hear the wolves. Sorry, I had said, I said here, but then I got a little off track. Yeah, you can hear the wolves in the background. Wolf dog pretty unsure. Uh, down here, actually, yeah, do you know what, like I was saying, this is a, it is a straightforward level. Ostrava won't come all the way down, so, well, we'll come to that in a second, actually. While we are down here and not doing anything in particular, apart from clearing out a couple of uh, simple enemies, and getting our prize from Ostrava. Thank you. Thanks to you, I can now forge ahead. I thought I would mention that, uh, you know, Nick and I, I spoke about him the other day in a Crossbow Carol video. Did I? I think I did. <laughs> did I? Yeah, I think so. Nick and I are probably going to be doing a Demon Souls co-op run. We tried Dark Souls, but 
we couldn't connect to each other. Now those videos, they are going to be on our brand new co-op channel. Uh, me, Nick and Carol, who we record Last of Us with. She's a very lovely lady, you will enjoy listening to her voice. She is also American. We are extraordinarily multicultural, kind of. We are all white, but, you know, this is as far as we... Yeah, it's fine. Look. Right, the new channel, I don't know if it's going to be out by the time this video is out, but we're going to be called Supplies, and you're going to love it. It's going to be filled with just sort of casual co-op, mostly. Nothing too serious. Just a couple of three people <laughs> having fun. It's not always going to be the three of us, obviously. You can tell this first lot of videos is just going to be Nick and I. So yes, uh, we'll probably release a video closer to the time, or have released a video. Let's see, what am I now? Episode 5. What have I released? I've released episode 2 so far. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the time's going to work for that. I'm trying to release stuff more often. Yes, so, uh, either it's out and you know about it, or it's not and you will soon know about it. Uh, probably make something, something of a trailer. Nick's doing all the artwork, so I will do all the... I don't mind making a trailer or something equally exciting. So, if you're interested in seeing that that playthrough, or you're interested in seeing us uh, take on any number of games, complete with probably better artwork, because both of them are more artically, artistically, artfully. Both of them are better than <laughs> me at arty stuff, like art and music. Although I might, probably will, insist that I make some of the thumbnail work. I can't have her. Uh, I'm taking all the fun. Shit. Totally off topic. Right, yes, that channel, if you like the sound of that stuff, uh, there'll be a link in the description to this video eventually. Or just tell us what you think. Right. That is going to be the end of that. That's the end of that discussion anyway. We've got about 10 minutes after this video. And we just happen to have reached the end of this path. I didn't time that in any way. It's just... It's just happened somehow. Normally, I can't pull that kind of thing off. I wanted to see if this guy was selling anything decent. He's not. That's why he looks so filthy, because no one wants his shit. Although you can get the plate armor, but it's it's heavy. It's very heavy. Just don't bother killing him if you want white world tendency. Which I do, by the way. The hands of God require colorless demon souls to upgrade. We've been through this before, but it's pertinent to go through it again. They need the colorless demon souls and one of the easiest. <laughs> it's not really easy. There are no particularly easy ways of getting colorless demon souls uh, apart from... I think you can do a trade with Snuggly for one. Uh, but the area where Meralda the Executioner pops a pretty little ba bagged head out from that has a colorless demon soul in it. So we'll be going after that. I don't know how we're going to take on Meralda. <laughs> she's going she's gonna to mess us up. It's going to be like Andre the Giant having a fight with the dog from <laughs> that's a really good analogy. It's going to be like Andre the Giant having a fight with Toto from The Wizard of Oz. Even though I'm just now mixing up fiction and non-fiction. Like there's something wrong with me in my head. Which there might be, which you'll see. You'll see in a second, I think there might be. Let's have a good heal! Oh, there's a dragon! No, that's not move! Burnt our faces off. And all our... 
very loose clothing? Is that... Oh, hold on. No, I'm using the Meridian uh, armor there as well, by the looks of things. No, I'm not. That comes later. No, it doesn't. It does. It doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm wearing. Oh, something I haven't mentioned. If you look uh, sort of in the top left, just under the stamina bar, uh, normally they are the icons that you get from your armor, the kind of effect you've got on. You can see we have... Um, I think at the moment we have the Thief's Ring, so we're harder to detect, and we also have on the uh, Clever Cat's Ring, Clever Rat's Ring. We have uh, something on that decreases the amount of magic damage we do, uh, but increases our magic defense, which I think is smart, because I think it only affects your know, actual magic, like spells, rather than physical magic damage. Oh my god, did I really... D no, it's okay. I think it's okay. I think I'm right. Oh, I could be wrong. Shit. Oh, I don't know. I think I just changed it anyway. Ah, but, <laughs> right, anyway. That, that is not the point I was trying to make. Night shield, sweet. Uh, drop, by the way, can be very hard to get your hands on. It's one of those rarer items. Um, it's actually the sort of green circle you can see below the stamina bar that I was trying to point out. Uh, that comes from Blessed Weapons. That is regeneration. You get the same sign if you wear the Regenerator's Ring or the Adjudicator's Shield. And possibly the Meat Cleaver, but I'm not sure because that's not... That's not constant regeneration. Uh, yeah, anyway, Blessed Weapons, they... They give you health. Uh, at level 1 it's not very much, it's like 1 HP a second or something, but every little counts. And as it increases uh, in level, so does the amount of regeneration you get. See, it works out very well. And that is every enemy apart from the dragon and all the folk in the boss room taken care of for World 2-2, which means we're running downstairs to go into the boss room. It's a good fight, always a good fight, fun fight to do. Uh, I think, first time I did it, shit scared. Not anymore. Probably the most intimidating boss in the entire game, I think. Uh, just for the sheer scale of him, if nothing else, and the fact that he is entirely armored and has a shield about 20 times the height that you are. But, you know, it's a straightforward one. We've been through this before, you take out all the crossbow guys, uh, try your best to either take them out in one hit, or to make sure you don't hit them hard enough that they uh, fall off the edge and remain alive. Because you don't, you don't want to be dealing with that down there. You've already got the giant tower knight, you don't need some puny man and his puny crossbow firing his puny bolts at you. You know when you've overused a word? It just happened. Yeah, so, crossbow guys. They're going down. Uh, I haven't recorded... Uh, well, at the time of recording this post... audio commentary. I haven't recorded any more episodes of The Holy Boxer, so I'm not sure what we're going to be doing next. Probably something good, anyway. I... Oh, right, that's what we're doing. I think it's probably still going to be 3-1, but I, I'm fairly sure the Fool's Idol is going to be a tricky one to take care of. Right, what I just did then was replace the Dragon Iron Knuckle I was using against regular enemies 
with a blessed iron knuckle. Because this guy is weak to magic damage, uh, but I don't believe he's weak to fire. And fire is just it's good on normal enemies because it staggers them, as we've seen. This is uh, a really straightforward boss fight. Um, I did get, I think I got a little lucky because he didn't do much of his jumping backwards. He mostly did the shield, and as long as you don't go crazy trying to get in two dozen attacks every time he presents an opportunity, you'll be fine. Attack the head when he comes down, and you know you're there. You're done. The iron, iron, iron tower knight. <laughs> okay. I was trying to call the iron golem. Uh, the tower knight is down. He leaves behind him only the tiny body of the man who was inside him. He was a puppet all along. And we care. Oh right, yeah. Because I couldn't remember whether I showed this last time or not. I was trying to show the message that pops up. Ah, uh, here. <laughs> Did not work. But anyway, go back, grab some stuff, then I'll go and show you the message. And at the end of this, there's going to be a little bonus footage. I just popped back into World 1 1 because as soon as you've beaten the Tower Knight, the dragons from 1 1 will be gone. You can go and get all the items that you could not previously. So we'll be able to wear better armor. Watch that, please. Thank you, and goodbye.